Artificial intelligence and cows. They're not terms commonly spoken in the same sentence, but in the dairy industry, that is beginning to change. I'm here in Dublin to meet a company called Canethus, which develops an AI system for dairy farmers and for whom terms like facial recognition for cows, it's just another day in the office. So let's talk about farming a little bit. Like when you're going to a farmer, how do you approach a farmer and say, hey, we've got artificial intelligence, we've got cameras that we can install in your barns? When you point out that we have the ability to, to take a camera like this and watch their cows 24 hours a day, every minute of the day, we're, we're able to use this to watch the behaviors of the cows, what they spend their time doing, and also the availability of feed. That's just a very powerful idea for a farmer that realizes, well, wait, I'm not making assumptions. I'm not trying to presume what my cows do at two o'clock in the morning or how they're being fed by my employees. I actually can do it with a camera. One thing I'm particularly curious about is what the camera sees, what the software sees. So here is 24 hours uh on a farm, but what we can see here is the output of our computer vision models where we're identifying or observing every cow that we see, as well as the different activities that are, they're engaged in. So you can see that by the color of the box. And so here's another time-lapse video of a day on the farm, and here we're focusing on the feed. This is the output of our computer vision model. So we have a segmentation model that identifies for every pixel in the image if that pixel contains feed or not. Um, it's an it's a interesting problem to solve from a computer vision perspective. So this is what the farmer sees when they first uh, sign in. So the farm dashboard gives a glance or a snapshot of everything on the farm that we measure in some high-level performance KPIs. Mm -hmm. So under herd productivity, for instance, mm -hmm. standing time? When they're standing, so this is when they're standing in the alley or standing at the beds, um, this is generally unproductive time. We don't want them to be bearing their weight or standing for excessive amounts of time. So if we have increasing standing time, that's generally a, a bad indicator on the farm. But if we have increasing lying time, um, cows are efficiently getting into their beds, lying, that's time when they spend turning the feed that they're eating into milk. What the technologies allow is less intervention with cows and, and or smarter intervention with cows. They, they can choose when they want to get milked, they can choose when they want to eat, uh, and they can choose when they want to sleep. So, Cantus and the cameras will see the animals as a herd and, and with the health index and the laying down and the eating, it'll tell you what's going on with that group of animals and what, uh, what needs to change to make them feel better. It's very uh, cutting edge technology and ultimately you can make better decisions because of that. A topic that keeps coming up is cow comfort. Historically, um, how the cow comfort index was used in practice was mostly in a research or academic setting and then if you wanted to look at it on a farm you would have to go out to every pen and manually count and note down and you would get a single measurement and you would get it as often as you are willing to get it which you know in practice wouldn't be very often but now this is something that we are measuring every day and that's what we're providing to customers is things that we can measure um, in order to manage welfare and in order to improve cow comfort and, and cow welfare on the farm. This is the, the most necessary thing you need to do today. The values I measure are their longevity. Cows are, are living longer, cows are having more productive life and they're having less health events. And that to me is a happier cow. So a, a happier cow is a healthier cow in my world and today we have healthier cows than we've ever had.